Okay. All right. So uh, first off, I'm presenting about fuel cells, which are not technically an energy source, but uh, perform highly efficient energy storage in the form of hydrogen. So uh, fuel cells, generally speaking, uh, produce electricity from chemical reactions. Most, auction, most often, these reactions use hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, hydrogen, obviously, is the storage where it is the storage because it takes energy to produce hydrogen, which is then used as a fuel and combines with oxygen. Um, hydrogen can be extracted from methanol, natural gas, oil, or directly from water in the uh, most typical process. So uh, the way that a fuel cell works, the way that a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell works is hydrogen flows in, hydrogen based fuel flows in, uh, comes into contact with this polarized barrier that uh, breaks the hydrogen down into an electron and a proton. The proton passes through the barrier while the electron takes the long way around through the circuit that you are running before joining at the other side of the polarized barrier and uh, combining with oxygen to produce water. The only outputs of this process are electricity, water, and heat, which is pretty efficient. Um, it is, uh, even in like the energy loss, twice as efficient as internal combustion, and it is developing new technology constantly, including proton exchange membranes that uh, are much more energy dense than uh, previous fuel cell models. Right. So hydrogen isn't natural, so the greatest challenge with hydrogen-based fuel cells is producing the hydrogen. Um, so the infrastructure is creating uh, hydrogen production uh, in a renewable manner, the, um, in a renewable or inexhaustible manner using which uh, typically you could just use any form of renewable electricity because the cost, uh, although the cost is very high because the, uh, but the process works by separating out oxygen and hydrogen and water by running electricity through it, thus breaking down the molecules. Um, alternatively though, uh, fuel cells can utilize many other fuels, including uh, propane, which many people already have in tanks in their backyard, especially in rural areas where fuel cells could be most useful, uh, or natural gas, and uses them in a way that is far cleaner and more efficient than simply burning them in an internal combustion engine. Uh, currently, fuel cells are mostly used for transportation, although they can be very easily scaled up using stacks, essentially, just one fuel cell on top of the other, which is already being developed into a uh, power system. All right, uh, sources. Question. It's not rocket science, right? No, it is rocket science. Hydrogen science. It is rocket science. What's rocket fuel? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. They've been doing this since back in the uh, Apollo the Apollo test. astronauts. You know, there's hydrogen and and they burn it and then they actually what's the byproduct? Water. 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 That's it. Like that's like, which is the number one greenhouse gas, by the way. But but it's all right. You can drink it too. So they just made, they actually drink the byproduct of what they make on their rocket ship. Awesome.